What's going on, everybody? TJ Goham here. Hope you're all having a great day. Yeah, smash that like button. I, I kind of forgot to, to put the video this morning on public, so it came out at like 1230. That'd be my bad. That's my bad. I'm super sorry. Oops. <laughs> but regardless, we are moving along, people moving along. What I'm going to do is we've got... Some stuff for right, y'all. I got a cultivator. I got another cultivator. I got a zoom hunter. I got all the stuff for right, y'all. What I'm going to do is we're going to drop off both of these cultivators and then attempt to sell the slurry that is left in here to the BGA. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not, but we're going to try. We're going to sell both these cultivators, and indeed, we're going to sell this tractor as well. The Puma is gone. We've had it for, what, three days? Two days? <laughs> we're getting rid of it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what we're getting yet. I had mentioned the possibility of getting a certain tractor in a previous video, and I'm going to do that. Okay, let's drop the front one off first. There we go. And then the back cultivator. Let's drop it off as well. Bam! Cool. Now the real test right here is going to be, can we sell this? Now BGA, I think you just go straight. I think. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, this is definitely the way to go. Booyah! Now where is... I don't think slurry goes in that. I think I could be wrong. We're gonna try it just for for funs and giggles, but yeah, it's not giving me the the thing. It's right here. I thought this was where I picked it up from. Not that. I don't know. Nope. Not getting a signal there either. Turn our help window on just for, uh, you know. Yep, no, that is the digestate. So, does that mean that we cannot use this as a transport? We cannot unload. Huh. Well, that's pretty stinky, stinky, pew, pew, pew. But you know what? It's okay. We tried. We tried. So, if you have the Zune Hammer, and you want to sell the slurry in it that is left, you cannot. Wark, wark, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, we just got back, back, I hit back there. I refuse to turn traffic off because it is way more fun to watch us crash and burn. Okay, let's sell some stiff. 20 grand, nice. 22, nice. Puma. 193 noise and 34 super noise got rid of all that so we have 751 thousand dollars to play with and by play with i mean to buy some stuff that we need big time okay let's take a look in the garage we have one tractor so far 288 horsepower and we can bump that up and I think that's going to be a good idea because we need cultivators. Well, first off, we need tractor. What tractor are we going to get? We're going to get a bigger one. We're going to get smaller. I had said that I was interested in getting this guy right here, the MT700E. If I were to get this, I would get the 438 horsepower engine. Problem. That's going to delete every single crop that we have. So we're going to get a case. And we're going to get, I think we're going to keep the uh, base engine, 400 horsepower. And we're going to go with narrow twins. Yes, bye. Boom, boom. So we have 400 horsepower there. We have just under 300 with the other one. So here's what I'm looking at. I was looking at this guy, the all-rounder. And I think that's probably going to be what I go with. But we also have the Horse Joker, 
12.2 meter, 360 horsepower, or 14.5, 350. I think that's kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> We're going to go with the larger one. We're going to buy it. Hey, time to wake up. That's right. Okay, we've got the cultivator for that. Now, what I want... Oh, 400. Goodness gracious. 330. This is the, the hard part. Because cultivators within that magic 300 horsepower number, you really only get 6 meters. But if you have just a little bit more horsepower, you can go with a larger one. So, I think what we're going to do there is wait until we do our sell and kind of see what we can do from there. Ba-bam. Wa-bam. Oh, and we need a... Well, say we need liquid fertilizer. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our sprayer, our, our extra sprayer here. Uh, I am going to go with the larger one, just for the larger fields. Uh, we're going to go with the 36 meter, the Coon. And we are going to get the front tank for it as well. So purchase, yes, and purchase, yes. Okay, that's about as low as I want to go with all of this. So, let's take this stuff, let's get it back to the farm. We are going to have to reset something. Ugh, probably going to have to reset both those. I don't want to reset both, I just want to reset one. Ugh. If only it would come on, come on. You're you're the one that I want. You're you're the winner. Gotcha. Ha ha ha. Cool. Let's get this back to the farm. Let's get that guy back to the farm. Let's do it. We just got back to the farm and we have reset our little guy right here. Our new sprayer. Good thing we've got this. <laughs> we needed to, and we got it. Oh, boy. Got him. Let's fill this guy up. We've got some growth in our corn. For everyone who said it would not grow. Ha. <laughs> Nanana boo boo. Stick your head and doo doo. It grew. Told you it would. Come on now. I'm not just going to do it and not work. What you talking about? We've got, while this is filling up, let's take a look here. 35, 44, and 45, all of which need fertilizing. They only need one more fertilization state, which is nice. Good. There we go. Fill that up. That's going to take a minute. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a large tractor for this implement, if I'm honest. But the Optum that we have is pretty well suited for the smaller version. And we wanted to get a larger version just to get something different keep it moving keep the ball rolling keep it going i think we're gonna start oh do we start on this field or do we start on the other one i think we start on the other field let's make a big old yui right here now keep in mind we are not buying well we are buying uh fertilizer we are not having the helper buy it it is all this tractor right here it is up to this dude right now to get everything done. I am going to put it on a worker, but... Actually, how wide is this field? No, nah, no, nah, we'll do it long ways. Bring it out. I believe this is... It's either a 32 or a 36 meter. Let's take a look here. Bam, 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 We'll go seven miles an hour, just like this guy, but it's 36 and 21. So we've got all coon stuff here. Uh, if we pull forward, does that line up pretty well? Eh, runs up well enough. I just don't want to waste too much. We're not spraying the grass here, we're spraying this. All right, line it up just so. Hire worker. Now you can see the liquid fertilizer is going down. It's because it is us that's buying it. Not this guy. But it is all row crops. We don't have to worry about that. That's kind of nice. 
Cool, cool. All right, let's hop out. Oh, goodness. Actually, this is a perfect time. Uh, fireworker. Back it up just a little bit right to where he left off. And let's hop out. Let's get an action shot here. Ooh, maybe too much. Let's go from the back. This is part of the gig, man. Part of the gig. You gotta get a get a nice action shot. Uh, let's lower. Can we lower that down? Yes, we can. Ah, uh, that's a little too low. That's right, right into the corn, right there. <laughs> okay, uh, turn your head just a little to the left. Perfect. <laughs> nice action shot. Bam! Say cheese. Cool. Let's, let's hire the worker back. Cool. Let's jump in the Optum. We're going to do exactly the same thing to another field. Oh, yeah. With the Optum, we've got a bit of a different setup. Not too crazy. You've seen it before. What we've got here is this guy. I don't know if we've used this. Okay, yes, we have. What am I thinking? We used it yesterday. <laughs> uh, the the thing is, the first fertilization state going on the ground either be slurry or solid fertilizer. Then we put the planter in, and then <laughs> now this that's not gonna fill up anymore now. Uh, and then our last fertilization state of the three has to be liquid. So I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, we will need to repurchase another slurry tanker. But for now, everything's cool. Everything's good. We don't really have to worry too much right now. And we do have row crops on. I don't know why I went this way. That was a terrible idea. Might need a mower to mow some of this grass around the area as well. It's getting a little long. Actually, it's flowering as well, I believe. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get this guy on. Let's get him doing his thing. The only issue, and this may become an issue, I'm not sure, is we've got two tractors. Yes. We, um... If one of these runs out, we're going to have to stop and go back. And that's going to stinky, stinky, pew, pew, pew. So there's a chance that if and when one of these does run out, we're gonna have to take them liquid fertilizer. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. We got 224 grand. We can do that if we need to, but oh, I hope we don't. We're about to find out though. Well, it looks like one of our guys decided he was gonna be <laughs> funny. Uh-uh, ain't too funny. <clears throat> We got to do all this ourselves. Let's set that cruise control just so. Let's clean it up, see what he missed. So we definitely know he missed this long area right here. And we're going to have to swing this one pretty wide. There we go. I think that'll do right there. Yes. Usually on the headlands, they miss about as much as like the width of the implement, whatever that is, that's usually about how much they miss. Uh, at least as I've seen on this map. So it could be different on other maps. We definitely did not run out of liquid fertilizer. I had to come up with a game plan just in case. And I've got the game plan set aside eh, for, you know, next time in case something were to happen. We've got, uh, well, we've actually got something pretty cool that if we end up needing to use it, I think you're really going to enjoy it. At least I hope so. Hey, that guy quit. You can't quit. Alright, we're just going to pull all the way straight forward. Come on, little doggy. Moving, moving, moving. Killing corn and moving. <laughs> Killing the bugs, doing something like that. Uh, fun fact, I'd mentioned this before, but I've seen a couple other YouTubers talking about it because they think it's brand new news. So let's talk about this. Saying that there's going to be weeds in uh, FS19. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Dave, man. We, we knew this already. 
uh, people on my channel, they, they knew this already and have known this, in fact. I'll just get a little bit of headland done right here. Uh, I'd mentioned that a couple up, you know, a couple a while back, that we will have weeds growing, and I don't know what or how, but I hope that we have multiple ways to handle that. Whether we have weeders whether we have certain pesticides and things that we need to spray on the fields anything like that i would find super cool i think that would be super super cool super neat super i'm gonna say super too much uh i think it'd be really cool to be able to build your own little pesticide uh thing so if you were to go in and and say like okay i've got you know I've got Roundup, and I've got this weed killer, and then I've got this other thing. You know, can I... Can, will this work on my crops? And maybe sometimes it does. Maybe sometimes it doesn't. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying not to get a huge headland done right here, because I'm going to restart him on this end. And turn him off. Nice. Okay, I think I overlapped a little bit, but I'm going to start right here and let him go. There you go, little buddy. Nice. Okay. Where did we end up over here? Oh, goodness, of course. Oh, man. And this trailer is not the easiest thing to back up in the world either. But can we do it? If we can, let's do it together. Oh, yeah. No, not, uh, not doing a great job. I was okay. But we're not doing a very good job. However, this is coming in handy. I like this sprayer. Yes, yes, yes. We have a whole nother field up there. And that's going to take us a minute. This field right here, 44, is... I would say it's larger than 45. I would also venture to say that I don't think we need to fill up again with liquid fertilizer on this fertilizer. That's gonna be a tricky question though. Do we? Should we? I'm not going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance it. <laughs> Cause this fertilizer will not be used until next year's crops are here. So, that being said, let's We've only got a little piece it looks like to clean up from this guy right here. And we have quite a bit left. We've used most of it, but we still got a front tank. At least some of our front tank. Let's take a look here. I just, uh, just got done with Speedy and I hired a worker on field 45. Oh, nope. We got another spot right over here. Ooh. Ground's kind of doing some funky stuff. That's all right. We're doing some funky stuff here ourselves. Cool, we got that. Let's zoom back in. And it looks, looks like it's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go lend a helping hand up here. I think we're just gonna leave the booms out. I don't see a reason to bring them in. We'll just have to be careful, make sure we don't hit anything. Uh, is he gonna turn around? Is helper H turn, yeah, helper H is turning around right there. So we're going to head to the other side of that field, kind of get everything done that he is not doing. Hey, Betty. <laughs> See if we can empty this thing out. Hopefully we'll get close. 
But if not, we'll uh, we'll just have to purge it and and uh, drop it all somewhere, and that's okay. But we will have to do that. Cruise control set, and I uh, didn't set the cruise control. Go figure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish this field up. I'll let you know if we have to do any purging or not. So we are done, and very shortly, this helper right here is gonna be done as well. I'll tell you, it did not take very long to get this stuff done. Also, I just realized that I don't have the time set. Where is it? Real time. Normally, I have it set on times five, but because we've done so much. And we're moving along. We're going to set that on times 15. We do have some left in here. Um, let me know down in the comments section. Uh, for you guys that have farms. Or, or what would you do? You know? Let, let's play this. Let's play a situation game. What, oh goodness. What would you do? Would you leave this in here? Obviously for the game. I would say leave this in here. Don't waste it. Or would you sell it? Or not sell it. God, goodness gracious. <laughs> Would you get rid of it by kind of dumping dumping it somewhere, or finding a place, and and dumping it all out, or, or purging it, that kind of thing? What would you do? What would you guys do to get rid of all this extra? We've got a bunch of extra. What would you do to get rid of it? Questions. Ah, oh, now everything's over here. Crud. <laughs> That's alright, I guess we can park. Park like this. Nice. Where's our other worker at? Hey, buddy! Looks like you just started on your front tank as well. So literally for a little less than two fields, it was able to use all that. Now that is a humongo sprayer. 36 or 32 meter. I think it's 32. There's 36. Let's find out. 36. So, uh, what is that? 100 foot? Something like that? Well, yeah, it's a 100 foot sprayer right there. Goodness gracious. That's a huge sprayer. <laughs> Alright. Let's get these guys put away. Uh, we've got a couple more chores to do around the place. Let's see what we can do to get it all done. So, you know that guy that does the vines, or did the vines, I guess? Um, he would always start with story time. Well, I'm going to do story time, and I need you to just go with me here. <laughs> okay. Faced in three, two, one. We just got back from our neighbor's house. And this is already going off to a bad start. I bought another tractor. <laughs> bought another tractor. Got a really good deal on it. I have been wanting a chore tractor. Something that we could do chores with around around everywhere and just having a little bit of baby fun just a little bit of baby fun and our wife's been getting on to us about the yard needing to be mowed and we haven't mowed it in three months and, <laughs> and it's getting ready to rain and we got to get it done now so what i've done is we've picked up this trailer not too bad you can tell our money has gone down uh, 178 thousand it's gone down about 30 grand maybe a little more well we've been working on something back here that's right. Oh, yeah. We picked up a 240. Got narrow twins on it. Or narrow twins. Narrow tires on it. What if I can get a nice nice picture right here? Can we do this? Oh, this this whole cart needs to move. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Can we get Can we get a nice one like this? Is that... Yeah, right there. That, that looks good, right? Right? Just go with it. <laughs> we got a chore tractor! Yeah! And with said chore tractor, we can do chores with it. It's not the most powerful. I think it's got about, oh gosh, 40-some horsepower, something like that. Let's take a look in the store. <laughs> look here. Um, Where is it? Nope, definitely going the other way. We did pick up the Massey. It's a little Massey. 47 horsepower. Very nice. Well, we've got some implements with it as well. We've picked up a mower. 
a tetter, and a baler. Now, hopefully, oh, we should have got a windrower as well. Do, 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 do. Yes, <laughs> definitely need a windrower. And we want to reset the windrower. Where is it? Is that it? Yes, windrower 300. So let's swing around, pick that up. I'm going to grab the baler, or not the baler, the mower, and go and take that out there. Here we go. And here's the only thing. We're going to have to do all of this in multiple steps. Now, I'm just going to do this little piece of grass right here. But what we've got is we have stuff to do. Tiny bells. Itty bitty little baby bells. Uh oh Okay, good. <laughs> I was like... Oh, no. We've got to get this area mowed and then tedded and then windrowed. Drop this off right here. Whoop, bam. Here we go. Yes. So, if you're ever curious on how to do this and how to how to do a little bit of mowing, here's, here's how I do it. First things first, you want to unfold the mower. If you don't unfold the mower, you're going to have a bad time. You want to lower it, and you want to turn it on. And that that's pretty much how that works. <laughs> and then we're just going to mow this whole area. When we get it mowed, we're going to tet it, and then windrow it, and then be good. And we'll have a whole little area here that's nice and mowed, and my wife won't be nagging us anymore to get the yard mowed because it looks bad. She, she's right does it, it looks it could look could look better could look better so I'm take a little bit of time I'll get this yard mode Did you just see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Reset you, you little swine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Back to it. got the entire field windrowed it took a minute a lot longer than I wanted it to take but I kind of got in the groove I started figuring out what the best way to do it would be with this okay <laughs> with this uh, windrower and I don't think we did too bad let's unfold this guy let's make some mini bales indeed this is going to be the end of the episode right here. So I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you've not already, please subscribe. We're going to make some hay bales. We're going to get these guys out. And then our next episode tomorrow, we're going to collect them. Oh, yeah. I got a surprise for you, and I got a plan for the collection. So that being said, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. We'll see. Are you? Uh-oh.
Mini Bell. Later. <laughs> Peace.